Hello, everyone. Welcome back to GameSpot. I am Mike. I am honored to be here with Patrice Desolet. And you, you, at the recent Game Awards, finally got to show off Ancestors. Finally, yes. I got kind. to show off. And I'm really happy that this morning I will also finally be playing it. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, yeah, we might as well jump right in. Uh, is there anything you want to talk about the game before we uh, you get to show us some of the gameplay? Well, single player, third person, open world. Uh, action survival game. This is what uh, we're working on back yeah. in, in Montreal. And now I just press start and so we can uh, we can start. And, and what I want to talk about first is this is an actual build. Yeah. So it's not something special, it's not a demo, it's not something... You got it ready we... yesterday. Yes, yep. and it's like, uh, yeah, really hot from the oven. So, so we'll start a, a new lineage. Okay. Okay. This is the lineage is what you're actually going to play throughout your uh, experience with ancestors, and so I'll pick a new slot. It's simple for now, and uh, we'll start our first time because cool. it's the first time you see it, and yeah. that the people are actually also seeing it, and. We won't play with any tutorial, if you don't mind, because I know. Mode. Okay, cool. And we'll play a pro mode, so Go no HUD, it. no. Uh, You're the expert. I'm no just... pop-ups, nothing. Okay. All right, and so people can also enjoy just being in Africa ten million years ago. Absolutely. And 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 let's let's do it. Uh, cool. Do you want to play as a male or a female, um, or do we go random? As go random. Random. Yeah. Good. Ready? Yep. Here we go. And then it's, that's a loading screen, it's called. <laughs> and now we're into it. So we're playing the game right from the beginning. <laughs> the very, very uh, beginning. Awesome. Uh, and so since it's an actual build, what I, uh, I want to say, it'll be like, there's like a lot of, of, of places for improvement for us. It's, the game is not uh, uh, finished yet. And, and that's how we work. We, we do a lot of builds per day, 10, from 10 to 20 builds a day. It always sure. have to be playable. Okay. Otherwise I go crazy. And now I'll just let you experience it. Cool.
Well, that was quite the setup. <laughs> and now it starts. So this is 10 million years ago. Yeah, um, and now I'm playing the, the little baby that just is all alone in the jungle, and now he's really afraid. He's in a fear zone, fear mode. Need to find a place to actually hide the baby. And then maybe an adult will come and save him. So, obviously this is much longer ago than any other game you've made, uh, obviously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not that, what was the third crusade in Assassin's Creed 1? Yeah. Uh, then, Assassin's Creed 2 is Renaissance. Yes. Brotherhood, the same thing. Prince of Persia, obviously fictional, but... But, but, Thousand and One Nights. Sure, yeah. So this is much longer yeah. ago. So this, you said this is like a fear, this is like an actual state that you yes, go into? Yes, each time you, one of the adult gets okay. killed, which for you may happen often, mm -hmm. uh, you'll, you know, if you're all alone in the expedition, you'll be, you know, your baby will be spare, if you will, and you need to find a place to actually hide your baby. Sure. I'll go into my intelligence mode and trying to find a place to hide the baby. That's a hide spot. Okay. You can mark it. All right, so now see, I can see it even in the 3D world. Okay, so you marked it just like without even going into a map or anything, it was just straight through the UI. Exactly. Cool. There's no uh, mini map or map, or whatever. You have to map it out in your, in your head. Okay. And I'm getting there. And then I can actually hide my baby. So, no, from no. what I understand, this ape, soon to be hominid, soon in the grand sense, will eventually con will continue the species by surviving and maybe exactly. eventually become exactly. you and me sitting here right now. Yes, that's the idea. Ten million this years is, later. This is a bit the story of how we got to now. Okay. And but it, it took a lot of time. Sure, yeah. And like, we'll get into this, I'm sure, so I'm probably jumping the gun, but it is a much more systemic Oh, game totally. Then totally. you, especially like you are known for, like Assassin's yeah, Creed known One, Two for Brotherhood. The, yeah, I'm known for historical action adventure with a really strong narrative. When this you're time, telling a story, this like you're setting up a, like a, with systems for us to exactly. Find our own so story, now I'm right? going to my sense, trying to locate where my baby is. But this time around, yeah, it's all about you writing your own adventure, and not me. Yeah, I'm writing one for you. Uh, so again, I marked where my baby is hiding, and then. Okay, so there's kind of like that Assassin's Creed flavor, but on a more natural environment exactly than exactly more we organic. Might be used to. Like at at first when we were starting, Panache and uh, the team said, so "Okay, uh, how do I make an historical game with 30 people? Because everything you're you're seeing right now is done by 30 people." Uh, back in Montreal, and it's like, so, oh, if we go prehistoric, it will be easier because I will not have to build an entire civilization and no crowds and no architecture. And it was a bit naive of me because then it's all organic. Yeah, it's not easier. It's More different. More difficult. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's 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 different. You it have to yeah. think about something else. Uh, well, so it's all, it's, not, it's all like organic angles and branches and exactly. Trees and and, and, and how do you actually read organic stuff, right? right? So how we did it is, is that each time you have like uh, trunks like that, you can climb them and you don't have to do anything, right? Okay. And if you press the A button, which is the physical aspect, it goes faster. And if you release, he jumps. Okay. Okay. And can you climb on most surfaces? On all surfaces. Okay. It's a bit my thing, right? Okay. But now, so I picked up my baby and I'll go back into my, what we call a settlement, oasis, and I'm back. And where have you been? So that was another adult. Yeah, that's your clan. I got a clan right. here waiting for me. And you went to save the, the baby from the hiding spot that you it, yourself had initially found. Exactly. Okay. And since it's a, you know, survival game, you have to eat, drink, and sleep okay. in order for you to survive. I picked up something that I never picked up before, so that's why there's a bit of the dark on it, so I don't know what it is, so okay. I'll just, like, inspect it. So oh, a lot happy. of stuff is, like, visual cues within the world rather than, like, a UI, a HUD oh, thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's not my thing in general when yeah. I design games, so it's 
probably one of the first, if not the first, survival game without any menus. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. I, I think so too. Yeah. And so I'll, I'll just like, I'd eat and I'll command my, my clan to eat themselves. And oh, okay. So you're also like a leader of sorts. Yeah. Exactly. But you're not really the leader because I can switch between characters, but I'll keep that for an, gotcha. another demo, if you will. So you see, so each time you pick something new, you have to inspect it first and remove the fear out of the character. Eating will also give you dopamine that will help you out, and I'll show you how later on okay. in the game. Oh, I picked up the branch and for the first time. I don't need it now, so I'll just uh, leave it there. So that's interesting because Panache Digital you and several other people incorporated it in 2014. Yeah. Uh, in that time, it seems like many, tri like maybe not many, but several AAA games and studios have gone toward that survival, um, kind of more systemic. Like even Zelda did it. Like even the recent Red Dead 2 kind of had more survival elements. Uh -huh, that wasn't uh -huh. as system driven. But it's just it's interesting. I wonder what it's like to be making this game while you see other studios kind of well, with their own takes on it. You know, we're, we were trying a, a, a lot of different things all in our li little space and it's 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 interesting to see uh, other people trying the same uh, thing because then you say okay we're not totally crazy sure right and so uh, a a but at the same time the way I design it's like what's my subject matter mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're like it's about survival right and and also it started all by feeling that right now we're mutants we're so different than what our ancestors were like. Or some offshoot that just And we're survived. still like biologically like uh, 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 built to survive and be afraid of dangers that is lurking everywhere. And right now, as you can see, it's, it's the blue uh, uh, around the, the screen is because it's raining and I'm, I'm, I'm cold. Okay. And so I'm, I'm using more energy. Okay. And, but I just want to see uh, oh, just want to see. This is my the elder who got uh, killed. I'm just gonna see where he is. Where he is. So based on the beginning when you were a baby, it looked like there was like a decent amount of falling damage. I'm assuming. Oh man. Yeah, this is the poor dude. Uh, oh, I don't think he's gonna wake up. But... <laughs> Whoa. The same bird? Yeah. You know, it's like I guess you were in his nest. Yeah. <laughs> protecting probably, his eggs. Yeah. Her eggs. So I'll get out of there. Yeah, it's interesting. You were saying like so many like primal fears we still have. They're not logical in our world today, but there's instinctual. No, because there's no more big birds trying to, to, to get you. But well, speak for yourself. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know what's like. <laughs> what was your morning like? But uh, <laughs> yeah, I took a Uber and everything was fine. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds nice. So you, you can see there's like ingredients all over the place and it's really for you to figure out if they're good uh, uh, for your character. Oh, okay. And see, I was still eating. And that's the, the, the thing while you talk and trying to survive uh, an African jungle, danger is everywhere all the time. So right. just go down a little bit. So obviously pretty much every game you've made, or at least the games you've directed, were very took a lot of research for that historical uh -huh, period. Uh -huh. uh, when you and I were talking before we started, I was like, I don't I need to brush up on my anthropology, uh -huh, uh -huh. but I know there was knowing your portfolio, there was probably a lot of research into that kind of well, stuff for this game. I, I said it before in another interview, so it's like I'm not really original because I pick, you know, time period, historical time period, I study them and then I recreate them. Yeah. Right, so, and for this one, like, I wanted to tell the the, the biggest adventure of uh, of it all, which is ours, the one uh, that's that started it all. And so, yes, I had to uh, study uh, our species, if you will, right, and how we got, like I said, how we got to now. Is it getting too much into spoilers to to like? So th I, saw, I saw that this was like chapter one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, no, volume one. Volume one, gotcha, okay. There's no chapter, no, it's like it's a real open world game. It's like right now we figured out that it will last at least 50 hours to go through it all. Okay, wow. Okay? okay. And it's just that when, when I was I was sub 
you know, studying the subject, I found it's like nobody is telling the very beginning of it all. It's like when we're in the trees and then eventually we learn how to stand on two feet. Right. And so that became volume one because that stands like from 10 to 8 to 2 million years ago. Okay. With, uh, and that, that will be volume one. So, And eventually you'll get to Lucy, the most well-known Australopithecus right. out there. So this is uh, one of the other clans, uh, younger members clinging to your back. Yeah. So are you, I'm assuming you're, based on the fact that it's a systemic game, is there uh, some sort of, obviously you want to protect the baby. Uh -huh. um, so it's your responsibility to oh, protect yeah, yeah, the baby. Oh yeah, the baby, you need, you need it. He's the one who's actually, will help you evolve. Yeah. He needs to survive, he's collecting data, knowledge for you. And you'll see at the end of, of my little playthrough. Now I'm entering another fear zone because I'm too far away from the rest of my clan okay, and my gotcha. settlement. So now I'm going to use the sense that I showed before to uh, gain knowledge about my surrounding. Okay. And when I'll know enough, I'll be able to eventually unfear that zone okay. to gain more territories. See? Now I got enough knowledge and the little particles is telling me where to go to go and unfear my zone. What were those uh, markings that you had, what were those things that you noticed? Like animal mark prints uh, on the trees? Th this one was like uh, horse tail, okay. something I hate before. Oh, right. Right, and there's like others that I haven't, I think this one, and this I haven't never, I never discovered it okay. yet. So this one is not useful for a, a fear, but I could go. So it's it's recognizing things that yeah. removes the fear. Okay. So if I go, and that's a. Oh, he doesn't know if it's good or bad for him. Okay. You want me to eat it or? Uh, let let me just first go through the the fear. Something about wild mushrooms uh, makes <laughs> me anxious. Uh, and. Now that territory is mine, if you will. Okay. And as you can see now, it's all cooler looking. Exactly. Cooler colors. No, but also it's like the fear is gone. Right, right, yeah. So now I can go back here anytime I want without the fear uh, interfering with uh, with my play session, okay. with my gameplay. So like you said, there's no map. You're just kind of, you are mapping it out mentally. Yeah. Whoa. Better get out. Crocodile is never good. Yeah, what I'll do though, just for you, I'll try to. Looks like it's all also getting dark. And yeah. Full oh. day night cycle. Yep. Yeah. Just like a, it's a, it was. We didn't do it just for the menu at the beginning. Okay. <laughs> Although it was a nice touch for the menu. Thank you. What I'll do, I'll pick up a tree branch. Earliest example of tools, kind yep. of, yeah. You know, at first I, I picked it up in my uh, oasis and said I didn't need it, but probably I'll need it here. So I'll be fine for a while. But like you said, it's like it's getting dark. Yeah. So I better get back to my uh, to my clan and I'll show you the cool stuff there because right now I'm like, exploring a lot. Yeah, so that's what's interesting. Because it's a system-driven game, and like you said, you literally spell it out at the beginning, say, we're not gonna help you much. No. You don't really, you don't have an objective dictated to you right now. It's kind of what you decide. But I'll show you where eventually you can get some right. objective. But it's really that, that's because while I was designing it with the team, you know, we asked ourselves to say, yeah, but if we say too much, how, how will the player answer the main question, which is, hey, you, Homo sapiens. Can you survive what your ancestors went through? And if we give you, you know, how does it work, where to go and whatnot, we're answering the question for you. Yeah. So it's more like, yeah, you, you, you think you're good, Homo sapiens? <laughs> like, you do it. Bringing us down a peg? Yeah, a little bit, maybe. <laughs> but like, overarching, like, in, internal mental objective right now is just survive. It's survive, yeah, and yeah. then and then eventually you get like me. It's a little bit more than survive right now, right? I'm getting oh, no, this is like see, 
the Homo sapiens was talking too much. Because now I, I got hurt. Oh, I see. Now you're missing. <laughs> yep. But you know what I'll do? See, I go back into my sands. And this is here, horse tail. And since I know horse tail is good, it's a good uh, analgesic. I guess it's the right term, so it will get me uh, get better with my limping. See, now I'm good. Okay. So I totally heal myself. Be and that's it's because, well, for sure, it's because I designed the game, but uh, mostly also it's, be <laughs> it's because you probably tested out before sure. and trying to understand how things work. And so I haven't showed it, but you can get poisoned, you can get uh, injured by uh, predators, right? You can get bleeding. It's, it's, then it's a real survival game. Sure. Now I got hurt by falling, if you will. And so since it's the end of the day, I'll go in my bed. Oh yeah, this is back in your uh, oasis. Kind yes, of. I'm okay. back. I'm back there. And what I'll do, I'll just like it's time for us to sleep. And, and so. So what are the negative effects of being out when it's dark, aside from vision being obscured? There's, there's no real, uh, but there's, yes, there's a little bit more predators coming out okay. at night. And see, this is like dreams, helping you, uh, telling you a bit what you could do. And that's my daily regimen. So did I eat enough, drink enough, slept enough for my next 24 hours? Okay. But, but without the HUD, it's a bit difficult for you to understand. Sure, yeah. But, uh, uh, with the HUD, you, you, there is a life bar, which right, right, is not right. a bar, and there's a bunch of information. But uh, for I the purposes of this, yes, and, I, and you I want as people to exactly. Yeah. But I want also people to experience the 3D world and experience the real thing afterwards. Sure. But now, since I'm in the bed and that I'm in my uh, my oasis, I can also go into my oh, wow. evolution menu, and I can unlock new abilities. So now I can unlock, for example, my sense and I'll be able to sense stuff from further. So this is like the most, most basic form, or maybe not basic, it's the most primal form of a skill tree that you can exactly, have. Yeah. Exactly. You're unlocking like what we take for granted. Uh-huh. That's totally. That's cool. And here and what I'll what I'll unlock for you. Oh, so you didn't just look into like anthropology and stuff, you looked into like Science. It's like, it's like <laughs> physiology and exactly. psychology. And what I'll unlock here is the very first step of us. Okay. All right. I'm like, boom. So that just, that's I'll like the first step toward walking upright? Exactly. That's really cool. When you think about it, it does like a like a skill tree does fit this really well. Oh, you're literally what? skill tree is evolution within a game. Exactly. And this is evolution. Uh, but in a broad but sense. also when I was thinking, it was like yeah, it will be easier to do organic and jungle and whatnot. But also I said yeah, human progression is a progression. It's yeah. like so it'll fit a, a normal game progression, and then we studied it, and then we realized that even in science, this is how it right. worked. Yeah. And so now. If I come here, I can suddenly, you know, go on two legs. Okay. But not for a long time. All right, okay. I'm not there yet. But I can go into my sense, and I put on two legs, and I see more stuff further and okay. whatnot. And that pretty much concludes our play session. Okay. I could continue for hours, which I did yeah, with this bit last really night. That's really interesting. So, like the actual skill you unlocked, it, it lets you, it lets you see further. See further, which itself is going to help you survive longer and carry uh -huh. on your uh -huh. genes. Okay. And as you can see, you can see a lot more. And then, oh no, I'm back into the I don't see you. Sure. So you wanted, and just for to finishing things off a little bit, I'm just going to go on top of this tree or okay. the tallest one. So. You can have a sense of the uh, the scale. And so I really like how, despite the fact that from what you've been telling me, it is a large open world, but because of our limited abilities as this early ape, we can't really have a sense of it. Because A, we're focused on our immediate surroundings, uh -huh. but also B, we just literally don't have the vantage points yet. Lucky. 
little birds in the morning. I feel. Yeah. Should, oh, uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's fitting in. Whoa. Oh, there you go. And so like from the video you showed at the Game Awards, we saw there are different, it's Africa, there are different biomes. It's not just jungle, there's plains, exactly. there's swamps. And savanna and lakes. And... But I need to stop, huh? Otherwise, like I said, I can play. I played that bill like last, not last night, but the night before for two hours. I got totally, not lost because I don't know where I am, but lost in the, in the, in the pure fun. Right. But I don't want to say too much for now, even though I think I said a lot. Awesome. Well, you've piqued my interest. But um, so before we end, I, so this is very much like the, the first game you've been showing in how many years? Eight, eight now? Eight years, yes. Yeah. So this is a big deal for you. It's a big deal it is, for us it is, it. it is. Because I do, I do care about making games. For me, it's not just having a job, mm -hmm. something else. And, and I wanted to tell that story. Yeah. It? You know, like I said, like nobody is actually telling where we're really coming from, and nobody's done it in a game. Yeah. And I and and it's so yes for me it's been, yeah eight years man eight years of yeah. the making. So no concrete release date, but you are saying 2019. Yes, 2019 PC, PS4 and Xbox One. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Patrice Desley, pleasure, for man. joining us, uh, and also great job at the Game Awards. It was thank awesome you. to see you on stage and for you to show off the game. But I uh, appreciate you stopping by so much and. Uh, that was Ancestors, Humankind Odyssey, the next game, the first game from Panache Digital, the next game from Patrice Desolet of Assassin's Creed 1, 2, Brotherhood, and Santa Time, Prince of Persia, Santa Time fame. Uh, but everybody, thank you so much for stopping by, and we will see you around.